Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. On December 6th of 2023, under one of the Ubiquity videos, somebody posted this comment, hoping the Wi-Fi Man desktop app comes to Windows. Ubiquity responded, Wi-Fi Man desktop will be available for Windows later this month of December 2023, and Ubiquity stuck with that promise. Earlier this morning, we got Wi-Fi Man desktop 0.3.1 for Windows. Now, currently, this is the first version of Wi-Fi Man for Windows, so we're not going to have all of the features. The features that we do have are probably the most important to me, which is the Teleport VPN. They also do offer us the discovery tool and at the end i'll tell you what i would like to see in the wi-fi man windows client if you'd like to support my channel the best way to do so is by using my ubiquity affiliate links that you could find in the description below if you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and if you want to become a part of the community, we do have a Discord channel. So now let's get started with using the Wi-Fi Man desktop client. What we need to do first is download the client. We'll go to this link and I will have this all in the description below. We can see that we have the Wi-Fi Man desktop Windows installer 64-bit and we're going to go ahead and download that. Now we can see the Wi-Fi Man desktop setup. It's initializing. If you're using some sort of antivirus, it may block Wi-Fi Man as it does do scanning. So you're going to have to go in and then allow it. Now with the Wi-Fi Man app up, it says welcome to Wi-Fi Man. Discover devices and access teleport VPNs. We need to agree to the terms and service and then press start. After we press start, it says Unify Teleport. Wi-Fi Man allows you to use Unify Cloud Gateways as a free VPN server. Log into your UI account associated with the gateway network you'd like to remotely connect to or use a teleport invitation. So right now I'm just gonna log into my account. Now, before we go any further, let's look at the settings because some people don't like light mode. We can change the theme and I'm gonna put it to dark mode. We could also do a few things under the security so we could skip untrusted certificate warnings and password protection. Now let's go back to the teleport. Under the drop down menu, we could see all the consoles that our account is associated with. So you could see Mac Telecom SE, you'd see Mum and Sean, you'd see Deb and Steve and test UDR. At the top here, we have the Express YouTube, which is my Unify Express, which we'll be testing out. At the top, you could see that I have selected the Express YouTube, which is my Unify Express test machine. But we could see there's no teleport access. That's because it's currently disabled. So let's go to that unit and enable it. We're over on my Unify Express, and if we click down on our settings, we need to go to Teleport and VPN. Here we need to enable the teleport and then press apply changes. Once that's done, we should be able to use teleport to get to the resources on this Unify Express. For testing purposes, I put a Zima board where the Unify Express is sitting and we could see it's at 192.168.1.15. From my computer currently, I shouldn't be able to ping that. So let's give it a try. So we'll ping 192.168.1.15. And you can see that that's not going through. Now going back to the Wi-Fi Man app, you can see that we're able to connect now. So we'll click connect and this ping should go through. You can now see on the right hand side that it connected for a few seconds and we could see some upload and some download speeds. Now let's try to ping that device again. So we'll ping 192.168.1.15 and you could see that we're able to reach the CASA OS. So let me see if we could open it up on a web browser. And just like that, that is how easy it is to connect with the Wi-Fi Man app with our Teleport VPN. Now let's test the speed to see how fast this VPN is going. And our download speed was 68.88 down, and then we had 51.84 up, which is more than enough for a remote worker. Now, the only other thing that you could currently do with the Wi-Fi Man client for Windows is Discovery, and this will just run a scan on your network and tell you what devices are connected. Now, that was a quick video on the Wi-Fi Man client for Windows, but what would I like to see being added to this? One really good feature that they could bring to this is the Spectrum Analyzer, which I believe they will bring in a future update. Another thing that would be really cool is the ability to add our floor plan, kind of like Design Center, walk around our house, click on the screen. That way we could tell if our design was good. So walking around kind of like what I do with the Net Alley AirCheck G3, but with Ubiquity. Also having the built-in speed test server would be good for us to be able to do some testing. Let me know what you think of the new Wi-Fi Man client for Windows. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.